Hey, this is Mike. If you could, before I get started, if you could go ahead and subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. And I know it's going to add value to your life and your shopping experience because I have hundreds of videos of different makes and models on my YouTube channel that you can check out and help you make a better decision when purchasing a vehicle. So anyways, I am here at East Coast Volkswagen in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And they are allowing me to show you this 2015 Volkswagen Passat limited edition and the color is candy white which I like that name and uh, it's just an overall neat car it's got plenty of room it has a really good classy look and let's check out the wheels here it has a 17 inch alloy wheels that are it kind of matches the car it's not too flashy just has like a painted silver and then it has the four wheel disc brakes looking at the front it does have the daytime running lights with the halogen reflector headlights and fog lights and it has the chrome Slotted grill there with a big Volkswagen emblem in the middle. Let's take a look at this side, give you a side view of it. Okay, so one of the things about this vehicle is that it has a proximity key. And let me show you what the key actually looks like. Here's the key. And uh, Volkswagen's They've used this style of key for a while. Typically, you would have to uh, open the little key there and use that to use the vehicle. But now, in this particular model, all this has to do, you just have to have it in your pocket. So you can use the unlock and unlock buttons here, or if you wanted to, you can leave your key in your pocket. You just walk up and put your hand on the handle, and it will unlock automatically because it senses the key, and it also senses your hand touching the handle. Uh, to lock the vehicle, you just put your finger right here in this spot here. So putting your finger there will lock it, and then putting your hand here right on the handle to open it will unlock it. Here's the inside of the passenger door. You have pretty much everything's black except for this metallic accent here on the top. Soft to the touch, surface is all here, and then it has a like a hard plastic everywhere else power window controls there you got a bottle holder and some storage space so here's the manual adjustments on the leather it says leather at seats so I guess that's a maybe a combination of synthetic and, and real or maybe all synthetic I'm not really sure it does have the uh, lumbar adjustable lumbar support manual right here but the seats are they're perforated leather uh, heated leather seats and with the stitching they are very comfortable and look they kind of look they have a classy look to them got plenty of leg room in here the glove compartment there's an interesting thing well for one thing you can uh, reset your tire pressure monitors there but just below it there's a button for locking your trunk now um, of course you would think yes the trunk is locked. You can just lock it, lock the cars, and it's, and it's, and it's locked. But uh, this is for like a valet or something. If you're, somebody else is actually driving the car, you can push that button, lock the glove compartment with the key. That way, the person who's driving the car cannot open the trunk, whether with, with the button in the back or the button in the front. So it keeps them out of the trunk as long as they cannot enter the glove compartment which will, you know, has a separate key for that that you can take with you. So let's take a look here in the back. Here's the inside of the door, pretty much very similar to the front, except for a little bit smaller. But uh, I laid down one of the seats to show you that it does have the seats that fold down and has pretty much doubles the cargo capacity in this car when you do that. And it is a 60-40 split, so you have a combination of passenger and driver, I mean passenger and cargo space if you need it. So let's go ahead and flip that back up so you can see what the actual seats look like. And look at the leg room. See, that seat's not all the way back. Uh, that's why the front 
part is not um, you know as much space but I wanted to show you how much leg room is possible I mean the front uh, leg room is, is is adequate now and then look how much space you have here in the back for the back seat drivers that's that's very significant so like I'm six feet tall and I had the seat you know adjusted for me in the in the driver position you can see it's pl plenty of room back here and they have in the back you have this place to put stuff also this center armrest folds down with some cup holders there's a dome light so here is the fuel door it's on the passenger side and I'm not going to open the fuel cap right now since the vehicle's running but you can take that off and it has this little stud at the end of the cap that fits in this little hole so that way you can take the cap off set it there it's completely out of the way while you're pumping gas and uh, it has a place for your cap so it doesn't hang down and scratch your paint all right let's take a look at the back you have a single exhaust for the 1.8 liter turbocharged 170 horsepower engine to breathe so let's go ahead and check out in here there's the backup camera lens and here's the trunk and I mean it goes in there for a mile and the seats are up so just imagine how much space you have with the uh, with the seats down and this is how you fold the seats down using these buttons these switches here so um, so that way you have to access the trunk to fold the seats down. All right, so you have some storage space there to the left, and under here is your spare tire, which it does have, and it does have the tools and everything. So, um, you know, some new vehicles are not offered with a spare tire, so you wanna keep that in mind when you're buying vehicles. So let's go ahead and look at the 1.8 liter turbocharged engine. So to open the hood, you just reach here in the center, a little bit to the right. It's a little tiny thing, you're not even going to really notice it if you don't, you don't know where it is. But it's right there. It just moves that off to the side. Alright, there it is, the 1.8 liter turbocharger and the turbocharger is in the back there. It's kind of hard to see, but it, does, it is back there. And the battery is insulated to keep um, it getting too cold. And you notice everything is, you know, simple. Everything has a, everything's secure. There's no, like, wires running everywhere. Anytime there is wires, they're wrapped up and secure. It's made to last. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out the inside in a little bit more detail. Alright, here we are on the inside. Checking it out. Plenty of room. Got plenty of leg and knee room. Do have a place to put my left foot, which I'm very happy about. But let's go ahead and take a look at this door first. On the driver's side, you got your power windows down here. You can lock out the power windows if you want to do that. You have the same storage capacity as the passenger side over here. And this is the open up the trunk. And up here we have the door lock controls and the side mirror controls. So you just have to pick a side and then this becomes kind of like a joystick in a way to adjust your side mirror. And then you put it back in the center position to avoid um, messing up the mirror once you adjust it. So here's the, the headlight controls. And it has an automatic feature. So you can have it off, you can have it automatic, or you can just have it on. And if you want the fog lights to turn on, you just, you just pull this out. Like so, and it will kind of position itself there. All right. So let's take a look here at the steering wheel. It is a leather wrapped steering wheel, very tightly wrapped uh, leather and with no texture. It's like a smooth leather and 
very high quality feeling steering wheel and it has a little bit of a give to it it's a little bit of a uh, a softness just so you can get a good grip but it doesn't you know dig into your hands and fatigue your hands on long trips and it has this pretty significant bolsters here on the side to allow you to have a, a good lateral control so here on the steering wheel it has your volume control for your radio plus changing through your presets on your radio as well plus you have a Bluetooth phone system where you can answer calls and um, make calls with the, the system here so this is through like a voice recognition system and this is you know if somebody's calling you uh, you can just answer the phone with that button so here you have your cruise control settings um, you know you can you just have to make sure it's turned on you can cancel it like that it's kind of spring-loaded you can see that or you can turn it off on and then you can set it uh, with this button and then you can go faster or slower like that and of course this is also a turn signal and all that stuff and also dim your headlights your windshield wash, uh, washer and wiper controls are on that side and here's your gauges and pretty simple easy to read gauges you got the black background the white popping through uh, very easy to read in pretty much any light conditions you got your temperature your rpms on that side you do have a clock in the middle and your odometer there at the bottom and then you of course you have trips which you can set with this button then your or, um, your speedometer sorry and then your gas gauge there all right you can set your clock with this button that's for setting your clock in that center position in that center screen there all right and this the where it says 115 miles that's how many miles you can drive that's your distance to empty all right so we do have a, a pocket kind of a storage pocket there if you pretty good size to put stuff it is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel so you can put that down and you can tilt it up and down and you can pull it towards you and push it back down so you can get it just that right position all right let's take a look over here we have an analog clock front and center your four-way emergency flashes there and here's your touch screen you've got the CD player AM FM satellite radio um, you can play music through the media system through the Bluetooth system or there's a auxiliary input that kind of stuff so there's different ways there you can pair your phone and you can set up everything so there's AM FM satellite radio when you push media it's not nothing's gonna really pop up because I don't have everything connected the phone once you pair your phone you have access to your blue like say your phone book and stuff like that so you can just use the voice recognition system to say call so-and-so in your phone and it'll actually call them and then there's lots of different things in the setup that you can you know you could adjust the way you want it and there's the back button there so let's go back to the radio that's kind of the default screen I guess you have the traditional volume button and tune through the stations there and right here um, I'm not sure what this is. If anybody knows what this is, let me know. So the heated seat controls are here and here, and this is your climate control, uh, temperature, fan speed, where you want the air to blow, pretty basic stuff there. Pretty good sized pocket down here with a 12 volt power supply. And here's your shifter. Now to start the vehicle, uh, it just has a push button start with the, as long as you have the key in the car, um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. So we can see how to do it. You just put your foot on the brake and then you push and hold the button. There you go and it starts up. So here's the shifter and a pretty good size shifter, comfortable. And it's like it has a synthetic sides like polypropylene or something like that. So it's gonna last forever. You don't have to worry about, um, you can easily clean it. You don't have to worry about getting it dirty or whatever. So let's go ahead and put it in reverse so we can see the backup camera. So um, you have like a very wide angle lens on the backup camera. And so it has a lot of distortion around the edges as you can see. I mean, that car looks almost sideways. So the reason for that is to give you the, vet, the, the most view behind the vehicle. So if there's somebody back there, or if there's something back there, you can actually see it. Now, so to help you with that distortion, 
they put these guidelines here. So they, you have these yellow lines. Don't be confused with the white lines. Those are actually in the parking lot. The yellow lines are right here. Will give you an estimated size of the vehicle as you back up, uh, but also it has this last, completely last that like that line right there is the closest you want to come to something because that's literally within you know just like an inch or two from the car, and it may not look like it because uh, the way it's stretched out. So you can see this is the bumper here and just right there is just a few inches from the car but down here it's actually several feet so the, the distortion is less in the center of the screen and more towards the end you can see how it goes out but anyways uh, definitely want to you know, use your guidelines when backing up let's go ahead and put it in neutral and then drive and then so this is your normal drive position you just, it'll cycle through the gears just like any other you know transmission so if you want to go into sport mode, all you have to do is you can go down like here to sport mode and this will, you know, basically tell the vehicle that you want the highest performance out of the vehicle. You don't really care as much about the gas mileage at this point. But if you need to change through the gears manually, you can put it to the right and you can, you know, shift through the gears uh, to whatever gear you want basically and have control over the gear ratio. So right now I'm just going to cycle through. So you can see it only goes to second gear because it's not going to let you start off in like you know the highest gear it only go too so far out of the gear ratio that it's supposed to be in because it doesn't want you to mess up your car so you do have the ability to have some control over the gear ratio if you want to by pushing it that way you can always go back into drive and let the vehicle take over the shifting of the gears if you want to all right so uh, parking brake is here, and then you have your cup holders with little flexible things here to pick up the slack when for different size cups. A little storage change pocket or something there. Armrest. Um, this is very comfortable. It's at the right height, and it also opens up. And in here, you'll find your auxiliary input for your radio. So you can pretty much plug anything in there and play music to the sound system. And pretty decent amount of storage in there. Plus, you have a 12 volt power supply which is always handy. All right, let's take a look at the rear view mirror. It does have the day and night mode manually adjusted here. So up here we've got some tap lights. You can have a quick reading light. Uh, you can also turn all the lights on by using that button. And if you put it in the center position, it will basically only turn the, it'll turn the in interior lights on when the door opens. But if you don't want that to happen, you can always push it to that position. All right, here's a place to put your sunglasses in here. And I know it's the same color as this plastic on the outside, but it does have a uh, soft rubber surface on the inside to protect your sunglasses. And the visors have mirrors, but also when you open up the mirror, this light turns on. Same thing on the other side. And I like the way they have that metallic look on the, on the dash. It kind of gives you some extra class there. Let's take a look at the visibility. So what do you think of this vehicle? 2015 Volkswagen Passat limited edition I think it's a good mix of features without going going like so overboard it's just a really um, comfortable classy car that has the features that you want and um, has plenty of room it gets, gets great gas mileage and you know with a turbo and everything you've got you know pretty good peppy engine so I think it's a pretty pretty good option for the size the vehicle like this and, the, and the, the gas mileage and all that. I think this is definitely a vehicle to consider um, in this segment. Definitely would recommend test driving one. So anyways, I don't work here at, I don't work for East Coast Volkswagen, but I do have a friend here. His name is John. I'll leave his contact information in the description. 
and he can hook you up and he can literally deliver a Volkswagen or a Honda to you anywhere in the United States. So if you're interested in any of these Volkswagen vehicles I have on the channel, just contacting him and he can, you know, not only deliver that particular vehicle or any other vehicle that you might want. He can order whatever you want. So anyways, thank you for watching. If you have any clarifications, any questions, anything like that, leave it in the comments. And thank you for your time. And thank you to East Coast Volkswagen for allowing me to show off this awesome car. See you next time.